All right, so what we got here is an S200 and an S300 turbo. Um, these are a compound setup on a little four cylinder P pump Cummins that is all industrial built. So we've got like a 69 millimeter S300 right here. And then we have our little turbo right here. And um, we've got the good valve springs in it. We got head studs in it. We got a, we've got a industrial pump on it. The four cylinder Cummins with the P pump is really hard to get. And if you guys are Cummins guys, you know what I'm talking about. The P pumps are really hard to come by with these four cylinders. This little truck makes probably 400 horse. Um, I would imagine probably 1200 foot pounds of torque. I mean, it's, it's pretty angry. Truck doesn't weigh very much, um, but due to the vibration of a four cylinder, because the way that a four cylinder fires opposed to a six cylinder is a six cylinder kind of, it flows. Okay, that's why a six cylinder comes is so smooth. These are just fire. They fire here and they fire here like this. Boom, 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 boom. So whenever you see these, they're in a generator, a compressor, a bobcat, a forklift, and they got motor mounts in them that are huge. But they're basically, you can't hurt them. The only way that you can hurt this motor, and I've even seen them with dirt ran through them for years, the only thing that they really do is if you dust them out, they'll wear out and lose compression. But you could take them, literally throw a new set of rings in them and fire it up and drive it for another 10 years. And they run on any kind of fuel, pretty much. You can run, I could run straight transmission fluid through this thing. I could run hydraulic oil in it. You know, this has just been a really cool little build. This truck was, is just one of the old ones that Welder Up had before we were doing TV. And um, Industrial Injection came up and gave me some turbos and um, worked on my pump. Fast Fuel Systems came and gave me a fast pump for it because this little angry motor makes probably 60 plus pounds of boost and I need a, uh, definitely need the fast fuel system on it to make it run. So what I'm doing today is basically, I, they're, because they're so rough and they vibrate so hard and my, my motor mounts in this thing basically are hockey pucks. So there's not a lot of cushion there. Once you throw this thing into gear, you know it. It, it loads up and it wants to go. But due to the vibration, it cracked um, some of my exhaust on it. So I'm gonna fix it today. And then as I put it back together, I'm gonna explain how these compound setups work and um, what the advantage is to having them.
So this little uh, industrial injection motor and turbos are very aggressive. It makes a ton of horsepower. And um, you know, these little four cylinders just by nature vibrate really hard how they fire. Um, so by the time it, the weight of the turbo up here gets completely, it just vibrates all the time. So it's, that's one thing about putting these compounds together when you're hanging a turbo really high like this. It's just, it's always maintenance to keep it from breaking off because they're so violent. Now, if it was a six cylinder, it probably would never do that. But these little four cylinders are very, very active in here and they make a lot of vibration. So you got to really brace it up. So that's what we did. We backboned it here, re-welded some stuff, and um, I think it's going to work fine.